so this video is going to be a what's old video this is going to be what's old for me on the various platforms that i sell on online for september 22nd until the end of the month so september 30th 2021 i'm going to start with my lowest performing platform and then work my way up i'm also going to have to show you moxie because if i don't she's going to make those sounds she's probably just going to make those sounds regardless but I figured if I show her that I'm filming, maybe she won't do that. I, I doubt it. You'll see a tail down here the whole time. So if you are new here, I am a part-time reseller. I am Heroin Bob. You can just call me Bob. And I sell on many platforms. So Facebook Marketplace, Poshmark, eBay, Etsy, sometimes on Amazon. It just depends. I, this year I've been focusing primarily on eBay, so that's where I've been getting the majority of my sales, but I do have an Etsy sale to share with y'all. And uh, no one's surprised, it's going to be uh, a soup mug. I sold one of the double-handled split pea soup mugs for all in $18.91, so that includes shipping. Very happy. Uh, again, I knew as soon as it got to fall cozy season, that would be the case and it's off to a new home. And then now we're swiftly going to go over to eBay and I sold this Magellan uh, fishing top for $10 and the buyer paid for shipping. And Magellan is not a great brand. Uh, it is kind of akin to Columbia where if you get it cheap enough and you mark it right, you, it'll sell quickly and you can still, you know, double your money on it which is what I was trying to see if that was the case, and I was right. So I paid $4 for this, less well, less than $4 for this in Mississippi, and it sold uh, within a week of listing it for $10, and again, the buyer paid for shipping. The next couple of sales, I don't know who bought these items, but I am so grateful for them because I have had this Pendleton shirt, because again, I didn't realize that not all Pendleton sells well. Only the vintage wool in Pendleton sells well. Uh, but I just thought Pendleton sold well, and this is one of the first things I bought when I first started like trying to consistently resell, even on a part-time basis, in 2019. Like, spring 2019 is how long I've had this shirt. It sold for full asking price of $14.87, which goes to prove that everything sells eventually. It's just, I don't really want to wait two and a half years for something to sell but I'm so grateful that this did sell. Same thing with this shirt. I didn't realize that like only the vintage Sears stuff and only like select Sears stuff sells really well, but this also sold for my full asking price of $19.87 and this is also something I have had since spring of 2019. After two and a half years, it sold for full $19.87. Uh, both of those, uh, the last two items that I showed you, I paid $2 for. So, I mean, very low cost of goods, technically very high profit margin, but that weight though, it's not worth it. This Tahari dress, now I do not recommend picking up Tahari, unless you can get it for real cheap and unless it's a valuable fabric. So I picked up this 100% linen Tahari dress. I actually picked this up for myself to wear and until it sold and unfortunately I am too bootylicious and this is one of those straight shirt dresses and um, it straight didn't go over my butt. So <laughs> I sold it for an offer of $14.50 and the buyer paid for shipping and hopefully uh, it'll fit them much better. Speaking of dresses fitting, this is one of the dresses I picked up at the uh, estate sale I went to recently. It is a vintage 90s, very cottage core um, Cherokee dress, which if you don't know, Cherokee's actually sold at Walmart. But it's green, very on trend, and as you can see, it has pockets. It's a midi length, or I should say calf length, beautiful green cottage core 90s vintage dress. And uh, yeah, I love it. So I will definitely be wearing this until it finds a new home whenever I get around to listing it, which may take a while because uh, as you can tell, it does fit over my butt. It does kind of cut into my arm armpits a little bit, but I can deal with that. This next item 
is a vintage duck toy. I found this at, I think, Design and Consign or an antique mall. Which is, that Design and Consign is an antique mall. I do remember I paid $6 for it though. So I did double my money. It did sell for my full asking price of $11.87 and the buyer paid $7.70 for shipping. It actually only cost $4 to ship. So I doubled my money on this item and I'm happy it's gone off to a new home. I sold these me two shoes uh, in the original new in box for $14.87 and the buyer paid for shipping. These are free from my aunt. Uh, Thank you again. I know she doesn't watch these, but my mom does, so you can let her know that I sold the shoes. $14.87, and again, the buyer paid for shipping, and they were free, so it was all profit, and I appreciate her so very much for giving me those items. This is something I also had originally purchased for myself, this oddball baseball jersey, just because I thought it was cool. Unfortunately, it did not fit me. It was a men's medium with weird proportions, which I did include in the listing because vintage, especially vintage, I always include measurements in. It just fit me weird. I didn't like the way it looked. It, it, it made me look dumpy. Hopefully it makes this person look amazing. But it was very cool. I paid $3 for this at New To You and it sold on offer of $15 and the buyer paid for shipping. These also took an exceptionally long time to sell. So these are a pair of Rockport uh, woven Audrey um, sandal, heeled sandals. I don't know what you want to call them. They were very cute and they were Rockport with Nike Air. So I thought that they would sell quicker because uh, that's a really good collaboration, but it took forever. It took a year and a half for me to sell these shoes. Uh, they did accept an offer of $20 and then they paid for shipping. This woman also said that she's been looking for these shoes in her size for probably as long as I've had them. Uh, and she just found my listing. And she said, if I find this in a size seven in either the black or the dark brown color, to let her know. So if you find these Rockport shoes in a size seven and a brown or black color, uh, I can introduce you to a buyer. <laughs> the chances of that happening are never nil, but very slim. So this is a pair of Nike Pro Double XL base layer tights, running tights. Uh, I paid $5 for these at a thrift store and they sold for my full asking price of $19.87 and the buyer paid for shipping. Very happy that those moved pretty quickly. I tried to get them listed in time for fall because I knew once it gets colder outside, people are gonna start to look for those things. I then sold this vintage from West Germany cashmere scarf. Doesn't have anything wrong with it. Beautiful, soft cashmere scarf. Sold for my full asking price of $14.87 and the buyer paid for shipping. I picked that up for less than a dollar at the Smithfield estate sale. So very happy about that. And this is my last yearbook from the Hoarders House. I'm so excited. So if you've not seen those videos, I will uh, put a link to the playlist up above but I got to pick a, hoarder ho a hoarded house for free, so I didn't have to pay for anything. And I've made so much money off of that, so I know Tommy will probably never watch this video either, but Tommy, if you're watching, thank you very much for letting me do that because that was amazing. And uh, <laughs> it sold for $15 and the buyer paid for shipping. And like I said, it was completely free, so it was 100% profit for me. I'm so glad this sold. <laughs> So I picked up a full size run of these Vans chambray uh, long sleeve shirts that were all new with tags, Vans, I guess we have an outlet in Williamsburg, an outlet mall, and I'm guessing that the Vans was just clearing out old merchandise and donated it all to the Goodwill. I picked it all up uh, for $5 a shirt and it sold for $19.87 full price with free shipping. This was my only double XL though, so that size is now gone. But happy to see me start making that money back. Corning wear. All right, I'm gonna briefly talk about corning wear. I have made a video about it, but if you see sold comps, corning wear sold comps in the thousands of dollars, those are money laundering comps. Please do not try to base, please do not think you're gonna get rich off of grandma's corning wear. You can make good money off of it because they are consistent sellers. People have a lot of nostalgia around them you know grandma used it great grandma used it my mom used it uh, 
and people collect it too, just like Pyrex and Glass Bake and Fire King and all that other stuff. So if you can pick it up for like a dollar or two, great, because it's, it's good usable stuff. They're awesome for baking in, they're awesome for holidays. That's what I did with this. I picked this up for $2 at an estate sale and it sold for my full asking price of $19.87 and the buyer paid for shipping. Uh, if you're wondering how I know it is a 1960s casserole dish, uh, the Corningware mark on the bottom changes uh, based on the time period that it was made in. Uh, I will put a link in the description down below. Uh, it's called Corningware 411 and it breaks down a lot of the patterns and stuff as well. It's a very helpful website uh, and I use it when I'm out sourcing. Uh, again, another mug. I, I felt kind of bad that you know, last couple of videos I haven't been selling mugs, so I've made up for that I think this week. I sold this vintage George Hauer mug for $5 and the buyer paid for shipping. I paid 50 cents for this at a thrift store, so very happy about that. I love saving a uh, beautiful, beautiful mug. This I picked up at that Smithfield estate sale. This is a J. Jill linen piece. We are moving away from when 100% linen pieces regardless of brand is going to sell but man did I sell a lot of it so I paid less than a dollar for this and it sold for $15.35 and the buyer paid for shipping and I'm very happy that that worked out so well for me so this is a pair of new Callaway golf pants I picked this up at the same time I picked up those Vans chambray shirts I pretty much only found new with tag stuffs at that Goodwill when I went into it which I'm not complaining about because these pants were only five dollars so I sold them for twenty dollars and the buyer paid for shipping and very happy and then the last sale I'm going to share with you, I'm going to have to thank my lovely friend Victoria at Super Geeked for putting this thought in my brain. I already know that vintage American pottery is valuable. I buy and sell it all the time. But she had mentioned Bauer pottery in one of the videos that I watched and then legitimately the next day I went into the restore by my house and found this beautiful pickle dish by Bauer Pottery in this lovely maroon color for $5. And as you can see, it sold for $34.87 and the buyer paid $10 for shipping. This went out to California. I do hope that they enjoy it. Uh, if you see this distinct shape, this is a pickle dish. It did take me a while, uh, a did, did take me a little bit of research and some Google lensing to figure out exactly what style of dish this was, but very happy. That it's moved on to a new home and uh, very happy for that tasty tasty profit. So that is everything that I sold from September 22nd to September 30th 2021 and I would like to personally thank all 1540 of my subscribers. Thank you very much for being here and for watching. Interesting history fact for year 1,540. Uh, we're gonna go back to Henry VIII because that man did a lot during his lifetime and it's very well recorded. King Henry VIII marries his fourth queen consort Anne of Cleves uh, in January uh, and then divorces her six months later that year. <laughs> didn't, didn't last very long there. Uh, all he also uh, dissolved the last monastery, so Waltham Abbey, was dissolved, disbanded uh, in 1540 AD, which was the very last monastery in England and a part of King Henry's VIII's dissolution of the monasteries, again, because he wanted to keep divorcing these wives he kept marrying. But again, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!